as you, Mishko Pokemon Quaid Nadishnikov's Mundodam. Hi everybody, it's Sandy Boucher here once again. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Seine River First Nation in Northern Ontario. I apologize for not being here yesterday. Sometimes things are out of your control, which brings me to what I wanted to talk about today. Two days ago, I did a Facebook Live, and that's when we had the pleasure of the troll that showed up to share her very negative opinion in the comments section. Because I wasn't able to do a Facebook Live yesterday, it really gave me time to think about what I wanted to say about the troll and Facebook Lives on my page. So... First off, let's let's talk about trolls themselves often. Hi, Tiffany. Often, in my experience, this is just my opinion as always, I find that trolls tend to be people that don't feel heard, don't feel appreciated, don't think people listen to them, and they're incredibly frustrated, so they try to come in and, and cause that upset. It makes them feel like they have power or some kind of control. There's Tammy, how are you? So that's an ego thing. And in some cases, it's because people have a really big ego and I'm all that in a bag of chips and I'm just gonna push myself into every audience. But often with trolls, it's the lack of self-esteem and confidence and an ego that is crying out to be noticed. And we really have to check in with ourselves and ask ourselves that unpacking I'm always talking about, why are we doing the things we do? Are we sharing negativity into the world? And we do we really want to be a source of negativity? So I just wanted to put that out there. I want to be crystal clear. And if any of you follow Brene Brown, I'm an absolute fan of her work. It talks about shame and guilt, which in the indigenous community is just devastating. Shame and guilt is devastating to everybody. Oh, awesome, Tammy. Good to hear. Shame and guilt are devastating to everyone, but in a community, a marginalized community where shame and guilt were taught, um, it's absolutely even worse. But she has this quote, and it's a takeoff of the Roosevelt quote, the man in the arena quote, and she says that, bottom line, if you're sitting in the cheap seats, you're not out here trying to make a difference and putting yourself out there and putting yourself at risk, if you're not doing that, then I have zero interest in your opinion of my work. And I agree 110%. I have all the time in the world to listen to the opinion of someone who is equally working hard to try to make a difference. But if you're just gonna be a troll and come in and spit out garbage, I have zero time for that. There are good people in this group that deserve better, which by the way, I have a recipe for dealing with trolls. First, you acknowledge their existence. You acknowledge that, yep, it happened. You feel that, right? Like, how did that feel? I was very upset that you guys had to deal with that. That's not my idea of the safe space. And then you take appropriate action if need be. Now, right, Tammy, right? So everyone knows, if you follow my page, I take keeping this page a safe space incredibly seriously. And the image I always have in my head is one of you coming to this page and all of a sudden getting hit by something that you wouldn't expect to see on my page, a racist comment or some kind of attack. And I never want you to experience that, which is why I watch my page and I delete comments that are attacking people. Indigenous people have been known to attack other people too, and those comments get removed as well. This is a safe space. So for all those people that say just ignore trolls, that's not my style. You lose safe spaces when you don't take action to maintain them. 
As I mentioned in a blog post the other day, safe spaces take work. They take diligence. They don't just happen. So along that lines, I have a favor to ask you because this group is all about encouraging and supporting you as well. The next time a troll shows up because these Facebook lives go out publicly, it might happen. Hi, Kathy. The next time a troll shows up in the group and they're spitting out ugliness, don't wait for me to take care of it. Trust me, I will. Those people are blocked, deleted as soon as a Facebook Live is done or as soon as I notice a comment on a blog post. They are gone. I will not let them be a threat to you. But don't wait for me to say something. I want to see you guys say something. I want to see not allowed here. This is a safe space. Your comments are not welcome. Anything like that. I need to see you defend this space as well because with the gift comes responsibility is the teaching. This page and our relationship is a gift and in my opinion, it's worth saving and it's worth keeping safe from the trolls. So I'm giving you full permission to come out and tell those people they are not welcome here. And, and I know I am going to totally appreciate it if you do. So again, I want to thank you for coming out today. I apologize that there wasn't a Facebook Live yesterday. Got to love internet access. And thank you. Yes, Tammy, that's it exactly. We need to look after each other, especially if we've gone through the effort of creating a safe space. We need to keep it safe. And every single one of you, I want every one of you to feel safe here any time you show up, whether you show up on your own to read a blog post or you show up to, to be part of a Facebook Live. We should all be telling them, Dan, but you know what? Don't wait for someone else. Be the first and trust that we're going to be right there behind you. And as I said, if it's on one of my Facebook Lives, you can sleep nights knowing that person's going to be blocked, deleted incredibly quickly. But I need to see you stand up and defend the safe spaces too, for your sake, because we all need to get in that habit. Hi, Cheryl. There you are. So I hope that made sense, guys. We, we, these trolls, we can't let them take over. And that's what happens when we do nothing. This is not a case of sitting. Silence is acceptance. And I don't know about you, but I'm not accepting ugliness being thrown out on this page. Not now, not ever. I didn't work all these years to create a space for you to let some troll take it away. That is the last time I'm going to be discussing what happened because they don't deserve that much attention. I have a couple ideas for what I'm going to share tomorrow. Something nice and empowering that can add to your journey. Another tool to put in your backpack. But you'll have to wait for the morning announcement to see what that is. Until tomorrow, please take care of yourself. Find your safe spaces. Create them. And then enjoy hanging out in them. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.